He explored the South and Western Pacific, Australia, New Zealand, and Antarctica. He is known for his contributions as a botanist and cartographer. He gave his name to several seaweeds, plants, and shrubs, and places such as D'Urville Island in New Zealand. His name is Jules Dumont D'Urville. Jules Sebastien César Dumont D'Urville, a renowned French explorer and naval officer, was born on May 23, 1790, in Condé sur Noireau, Normandy, France. His unwavering passion for discovery and exploration led him on numerous expeditions that forever shaped our understanding of the Pacific, Australia, New Zealand, and Antarctica. Dumont D'Urville's journey into the world of exploration began with his education. He attended the prestigious École Polytechnique in Paris, where he developed a strong foundation in scientific and navigational skills. His thirst for knowledge and adventure led him to join the Naval Academy, where he honed his skills as a naval officer. In 1822, Dumont d'Urville embarked on his first major expedition, setting sail on the corvette Coquille to explore the Pacific. This voyage would prove to be the catalyst for his illustrious career. Over the course of four years, he meticulously charted unexplored territories, discovering and documenting numerous islands and archipelagos. One of Dumont d'Urville's significant discoveries during this expedition was d'Urville Island, which he named after himself. Located in the Marlborough Sounds of New Zealand, this island serves as a lasting tribute to his contributions to geographical knowledge. Following his successful Pacific expedition, Dumont d'Urville set his sights on the uncharted territories of Antarctica. In 1837, he embarked on his second major voyage, commanding the ships Astrolabe and Zeely. This expedition aimed to explore the southern reaches of the globe and gather scientific data. During his Antarctic expedition, Dumont d'Urville made significant contributions to botany and cartography. He meticulously documented flora and fauna, giving his name to several seaweeds, plants, and shrubs. His accurate maps and charts of the region greatly advanced our understanding of the Antarctic landscape. Dumont d'Urville's explorations also took him to Australia, New Zealand, and the Pacific Islands. He visited places such as Sydney, Tasmania, New Caledonia, Fiji, and the Solomon Islands, among others. His interactions with indigenous peoples and his scientific observations enriched our knowledge of these regions. One of Dumont d'Urville's notable achievements was his discovery of the South Magnetic Pole in 1838. This significant geographical finding provided valuable insights into Earth's magnetic field and its variations. Tragically, Dumont d'Urville's life was cut short on May 8, 1842, when his ship, the Astrolabe, was wrecked in a storm near the coast of Papua New Guinea. Despite his untimely death, his legacy lives on, as his expeditions have had a profound impact on the world. Dumont d'Urville's meticulous documentation, accurate mapping, and scientific observations have provided a foundation for further exploration and research. His contributions to botanical studies, cartography, and geographical understanding continue to influence our knowledge of the Pacific, Antarctica, and the regions he explored. As we reflect upon the remarkable achievements of Jules Sebastien César Dumont d'Urville, we recognize his indomitable spirit and unwavering dedication to exploration. His legacy inspires future generations of explorers and serves as a testament to the power of curiosity, courage, and the pursuit of knowledge. As a young boy in Condé sur Noireau, Jules Dumont d'Urville had a challenging childhood, plagued by frequent illnesses. After the death of his father, his uncle, the abbot of Quasiles, took on the role of his father figure, providing him with a solid education. Inspired by the writings of explorers such as Bougainville, Cook, and Anson, Dumont developed a deep passion for travel and discovery. At the age of 17, he attempted to enter the prestigious École Polytechnique but failed the physical tests. Undeterred, he made the decision to enlist in the Navy. In 1804, he began his studies at the Naval Academy in Brest, where he honed his navigational skills and acquired a wealth of knowledge on maritime exploration. Over the next few years, Dumont embarked on several voyages, including expeditions to the Mediterranean Sea, where he visited the islands of Elba, Milos, and the French colonies of New Zealand and Australia. These early experiences fueled his desire for further exploration and discovery. In 1812, Dumont found himself in the South Pacific, where he navigated through the Marlborough Sounds and French Pass in New Zealand, and explored the islands of Tonga, Fiji, the Loyalty Islands, New Caledonia, and the Santa Cruz Islands. His thirst for knowledge and his meticulous mapping skills earned him recognition among his peers. Little did Dumont know that these early experiences would be the foundation for his later achievements as one of the greatest explorers of his time. His childhood struggles and passion for exploration shaped his destiny, propelling him towards a future filled with extraordinary discoveries. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, 
make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.